Okay, so as you might be able to tell, I'm in the hospital right now. There's my hospital bed. I'm actually in a wheelchair right now. So fabulous. Um, and I have kind of a embarrassing story time for today. Um, slash something very unbelievable that I can't even really believe. Um, so I kind of just wanted to talk to somebody and kind of vent about this a little bit and just kind of share my embarrassment and confusion with you all. Um, today I threw out my back, worse than I ever have before in my entire life, by sneezing. Now, I've had lumbar issues in the past, I've, ha I've suffered from back strain in the past, you know, every once in a while, I'm sure everybody has that, where you throw out your back, you're lifting something too heavy, and you just end up kind of like doubled over in pain for a few days, or like, oh my god, why did I think it was smart to lift that 40 pound bag by myself? And I tend to think that I'm a lot stronger than I actually am, so I'm like, nah, don't worry about it guys, I got this. Lift. Ugh. Ouch. But lately, there has been some crazy pollen in Atlanta, where I live right now, and I don't know if you guys live in the south or if you know what it's like in the south, but our spring starts fast, we get a lot of plants, and they make a lot of pollen. The ground is yellow, the puddles are yellow, everything is yellow right now, and it's horrifying if you have any kind of pollen allergy, which I definitely do. So I've been taking Zyrtec in the mornings or sometimes at night, and sometimes even both because I'm just so terrified of getting like that horrible, stuffy, nasally, just awfulness that comes with pollen allergies, and I've just been really great, and my allergies haven't really been bothering me too bad, but of course with this massive amount of pollen, which I will try to insert pictures of, It is not something you want to deal with at all. So I work at a store where I am customer service and I am the first person that you see when you walk in the door. I am the greeter. And um, it's an easy job, but every time that door opens, whoosh, in comes the pollen. And my entire station is covered in pollen all the time. And I guess what happened today was even with all of my Zyrtec and Flonase and vitamin C supplements and everything else that I take and do, I sneezed so hard that I doubled over and threw out my back that hard. I sneezed that hard. I can't believe it. And it, I wouldn't mind so badly, except that it's extremely painful. And when it first happened, it was honestly so strong and so unexpected that when I sneezed and I felt like this like intense like, ugh, like snapping, punching pain in my back, I, you know, obviously like, I doubled over, but it was so painful that I, I like was seeing spots and blackness and I felt like I was going to like puke or faint so I crumpled down to my knees and it happened very fast so I, I sneezed, I felt pain, crumple and then before I knew it I was like laying on the ground and that was all I could do was lay on the ground and I was in so much pain um, so you know needless to say I was kind of confused like I'm at work in my work uniform laying on the ground still trying to do my work so I was laying down there welcome laying on the ground, no, don't worry about me, I just hurt my back, well, welcome, and I was in a lot of pain, but it hurt less when I was on the ground, so I was just like, no, just leave me here, and some coworkers walked by and, you know, helped me up, because they were like, oh, it's, you know, it's okay, let's just get you back on your feet, and I was like, okay, that's probably for the best, I got back up on my feet, it didn't hurt so bad for just a minute, um, I was able to kind of stand, I just kind of like, oh, do that thing where you're just kind of doing the old person hobble, where you're like, oh, welcome, you know, kind of pain, and, uh, it, you know, it, it was okay, but after a little while, it just got so intense again that I just, like, must have twisted in the wrong direction just slightly, and it was, like, shooting intense blackout pain again. Like, on a scale of 1 to 10, it was a solid 10 or maybe an 11. It was probably the worst pain I've ever felt in my entire life. I was feeling chills and nausea and tingling all up and down, up and down my legs and my arms, and I just immediately crumpled back to the floor again. I was like, nope, I'm, I'm laying down. You guys, I'm sorry. I, I can't stand anymore. So, um, one of my coworkers is like, hey, you know, you, do you, do you need help? You, you want to talk to a manager? Do you need to go home? So I was like, you know what, that's probably for the best. So I, I asked them to call the manager and they did. And, um, manager came up and tried to help me to the back. And I seriously, I, I got up and I was able to walk about 10 feet and he was, and it was just too bad. I, I couldn't even keep up to walk the maybe 100 feet back to the break room. It was such an intense crippling pain. So I just, I couldn't help it. And I had to tell him, I'm sorry, I just can't. And I crumpled back to the floor again, where at least I didn't feel like I was going to faint. Um, and uh, 
So I was laying on the ground and he brings over a wheelchair and I couldn't get up to get in the wheelchair. So they finally asked, they were like, hey, do you, do you need a paramedic? So with a lot of embarrassment, I said, yes, I, I think I probably need to get on a stretcher. I, I really could not move. I couldn't stand up. I couldn't, I couldn't even like shift my body while laying on the ground without intense shooting pain throughout my whole body and even laying on the ground I was like <sighs> like panting and I was like you know just that intense pain situation So I just got back from getting my x-rays taken and that was probably the most painful experience of my life so far not because x-rays are painful, but because any movement that I make at all right now is excruciating. You know you use your back muscles to move pretty much any part of your body, and this is the lower back muscles, so anytime I move my legs or my arms or like try to rotate my body or anything, it puts pressure and tenses the lower back muscles, and that's where I'm feeling all my pain right now. So I'm just like in excruciating pain. And um, I'm on a stretcher right now, which I don't know if you guys can see, but I'm not going to move a lot to show any, any of it. Um, yeah, that's, that's what I have. I'm in my, in my room again. Um, and uh, what happened was I was wheeled over there in the wheelchair, which I had kind of strategically found a comfy position that I could sit in, um, but I really couldn't move. Like if I moved a little bit back or a little bit forward, it was just pain, 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 pain like intense pain. Um, and, um, so they had to get me onto the table to get my x-rays done, right? And, uh, just moving onto the table itself was just extremely painful, kind of, you know, movements and everything like that. They had just given me a pill for the pain and a pill for a muscle relaxer, but, I mean, just, like, they had just given it to me maybe 60 seconds before, so no time for it to sink in or anything. My my pain level was still in incredibly intense, so I was just not having a good time. I had a lot of pain getting onto the table, and we almost couldn't get me into the, the positions to get the x-rays done, even though I was trying my absolute hardest. It just wouldn't work. Um, but we finally got them, and then we had to get me back into the wheelchair, right, to get me back to the room. That didn't that didn't go as planned. It was so painful that I ended up crumpling back to the floor, and I just hung out on the floor. I I couldn't move. I couldn't I couldn't get up. I couldn't even rotate. I couldn't move my body at all. And they um they kept trying to you know do that thing where it's like ah oh, come on you know don't don't be a baby. And I was just like I was so much pain. I can't move. I couldn't I couldn't do anything. It was really bad. Um. So they brought in the head nurse, and then it got even worse because she was like, okay, well, have you ever had a kid? Stuff like that. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, well, I'm still in, I'm still in the hospital, so I probably shouldn't talk about all that right now. But, but anyway, um, they ended up finding some bigger, tougher, I don't know if they were security guys or police or what. Maybe they were, like, paramedic legal support or something, but they were, like, big guys in police uniforms came and helped lift me onto this bed that I'm on now and now I'm just kind of trying to not move and not hurt. You can see my makeup is just running all over my face and I'm kind of looking kind of gross right now but this is the kind of friends we are, right? That we share these things. So I'm kind of doing this mostly to uh, kind of calm myself down a little bit and share this and document it a little bit just so I have the memory because I know I'd regret it if I didn't and uh, if if you guys like listening to it, that's great too. So okay, let's see how the rest of this goes. Hopefully this medicine will kick in at least a little bit because I'm still in a lot of pain. Bye for now. Okay, so I'm finally done with that whole ordeal. Um, I'm sure as you guys all probably already know, being in the hospital is never very much fun, especially if you're in pain. So I really did not have a very good time there. And I know the nurses were all just trying to help and everything like that, um, but uh, I did experience some <laughs> kind of not so fun bedside manner experiences. Oh goodness, my makeup is all kinds of dis disheveled by this point of the day. I was crying and laying on my side so I have like tear streaks going all down my face this way and um, 
you know, all the usual things that I guess you would expect from having a very difficult traumatic experience um, all over my face. So that's really great. Super attractive. Um, so please pardon that I look a little funny right now. Also, I got a huge haul of free books in the back that I picked up from one of my favorite uh, secondhand shops. They were giving out free books and I got like the entire Harry Potter series and a series of unfortunate events books and it was pretty great. So that's what that's what you're seeing in the back, that mess or whatever it is. It's, it's not a mess, it's a trove. Um, but uh, they took my x-rays after much difficulty and uh, it appears everything's fine. There doesn't seem to be any major like damage to my spine itself um, but there was definitely some you know pretty bad swelling and all that other good stuff so my muscle structure is the part that's damaged so that's okay so they gave me some good muscle relaxers and a painkiller and I'm just going to be resting at home and taking it off for the next few days because they gave me there's my fella who's taking good care of me. Oh. Hello, fella. Hello, I am fella. Okay. They gave me a doctor's note saying that I need to be off duty for the next week or so, and after that, no lifting anything higher than five pounds, which makes sense. Um, but I just, I still can't believe that I threw my back out somehow through some freakish force of nature. Um, I threw my back out by sneezing. How? How embarrassing of all the things. Oh goodness. Um, my fella had to run in real quick to drop off my doctor's note uh, at my work and um, even just in the minute or so that he popped by there people were already asking, they're like, hey is it true she <laughs> hurt her back by sneezing and it is definitely true and uh, yeah so Anyway, thank you guys for checking out my video. If you did manage to watch this all the way through, thank you very much. Um, you can tell me about any weird injury situations that you've ever had. Um, what makes you feel better when you've been really badly hurt? Because right now I'm here at, I don't know if you're able to see anything out the window, but we're stopping to pick up Chipotle because that's my comfort food and I just really wanna be comfortable and <laughs> just kind of nurse my wounds for a little while. Anyway, hopefully nothing like this happens ever again, but you know, every once in a while stuff like this does tend to happen, and you just kind of have to be prepared, just in case you have to roll with the punches. So I'm just going to roll with this, and I'm going to go home and take off all my makeup that's all tear-stained and smudged, and just get in bed and sleep, because these muscle relaxers are making me so drowsy. <sighs> Still shaking my head about that sneeze. And I'm definitely taking some more allergy pills just in case because I sneezed when I was in the car here just waiting for my fellow to get out of uh, putting in the prescription order and it was like oh, excruciating pain in my back again so I guess somewhere there's a muscle connected to something and it did not work out well for me sneezing so anyway thank you for checking this out and I hope, uh, I hope you guys understand that you're my friends and even if really awkward, uncomfortable things happen to me. I really like being able to just kind of vent and tell you guys about it, so hopefully this isn't too weird or annoying or anything like that. Um, I'd appreciate it if you guys would give me a thumbs up for sympathy. <laughs> a thumbs up is a get well soon, Genevieve. And uh, I hope to see you guys in the next video. I'll see you guys next time. Bye!